time for the Wednesday panic button. Of course, when anybody tells you that they're not panicking, it means somebody in their life is panicking. <laughs> so you saw a couple of guys from last week. This will be uh, Terrell's first shot to play. Yes. You know the rules. Yes. I'll give you the team and the situation. Panic or no panic, okay? We will start off in the AFC with the Los Angeles Chargers. Is it time to panic? Or don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Why don't not? Don't panic. Uh, you can play through broken ribs. Uh, I think Justin Herbert, he'll be all right eventually. They lo- they lost their uh, they left tackle, mm-hmm. but the show must go on. And they are one and the two. Break. They've scored less than 20 points a game, and uh, they're only a game better than the winless Raiders right now. And you're saying don't panic. Nah. And your quarterback's banged up with broken rib cartilage. Yeah. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. I, but they added the extra game, so the NFL season <laughs> is a marathon and a triathlon now. So okay. you still got time. You got enough games to kind of heal up. And I heard they play the Houston Texans, so he might get the week off uh, there. Okay. So I think it's not time to panic okay. yet. Okay. Yeah. Team number two, are you ready? Panic or no panic? The San Francisco 49ers. You want this one? Uh, what do you got? I, 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 would ah! I would panic. I would panic. <laughs> All right. I would panic. Why should the uh, you, uh, Niners fans panic? Um, you lost your starting quarterback, who's yes. supposed to be your future. Jimmy you know King. what I mean? Yep. You lost your starting left tackle. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And now you got a guy, a quarterback, you didn't even give a playbook to until it reported in July. And Correct. You didn't let him practice with the team. You threw him away, and now he's in there. His, his care meter is probably not very high. San right Francisco now. is one and two. Jimmy G got like a $300,000 bonus for playing in the game he won and winning it. Nice. Uh, they, of course, lost uh, last week. They're a game out behind the Rams. You believe it is time it's for time panic, to panic. It's definitely in time San to panic. Francisco. <laughs> it's time to panic. Well, you before you phone. guys decide to hit the button or not on this next team, I just want you to hear a little sound from a coach and a player, and then I will ask you the question, panic or don't panic. Here is DJ Reed and Robert Sala oh, from oh the God. New York. Don't oh hit God. that button. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Hey, finger slip. Don't hit okay. that button. Finger slip. Okay. Yes. Sorry. 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 Right. <laughs> I would. I'm oh, my that. God. You yeah. such fan. I feel so bad for you guys. Yeah. Now, DJ Reed's a veteran who's played very well thus far in the first three weeks. Mm-hmm. Robert Sala has not proven yet that he's a legitimate you know, game day head coach. He might be a nice guy. Yeah. Nice guys don't always finish first in the NFL. A lot of them finish last. But, you know, the fact that DJ Reed could say that the New York Jets have a major communication problem from the coaching staff to the players yeah. during games – that is a dysfunctional mess. Panic or don't panic? You definitely panic. Oh. You definitely panic. You don't want one of your good players kind of like outing what's going on behind closed doors. You know, the fans just want to see wins, want us to get it fixed. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going out there, you kind of like taking shots at your coach's That's staff. That's what he throwing, did? You know, you mean throwing people under the bus is not – it's not good for chemistry. I will say not this. good to work. I, I like DJ Reed saying it because he's exposing a coaching staff that thus far has been, frankly, incompetent. Mm. They haven't earned uh, the right to, you know, to bow out their chest in any regard whatsoever. I think uh, Robert Sala's 4 and 16 now as the head coach of the New York Jets. And while last year he gets a free pass like Brian Dable does with the Giants this year, uh, maybe McDaniels does with the Raiders this yeah. year, first year coach trying to fix a problem. Look, when a veteran quarterback comes out and goes, you guys don't know how to communicate to your players oh. during the game, mm. that is a dysfunctional yeah. mess. Hit it again. Bang. That's get, right. And again. Bang. Yeah, we're going to say panic on that. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever played for incompetence or no? No, I haven't. You never I had an incompetent I was, coaching no, staff. No, I was very fortunate, you know, that with the coaches that came in. You know, one thing about, you know, the Ravens organization, we made sure everybody involved had the Raven personality. Got it. Like, yeah. you brought in a certain type of yeah. player. And- I didn't bring in a certain no, type. But- oh, you mean an organization. Yeah, but yeah. there were certain kinds of guys that <laughs> yeah. wouldn't work in your locker room, Absolutely. Too. Like, Absolutely. There were prima donnas weren't allowed. No, prima donnas right? allowed. If you were a prima donna when you got there, you weren't a prima donna when you left. Gotcha. I guarantee you. We, gotcha. we got that out of there. Pretty quick. Very, yeah. very quickly. Yeah. I can only imagine <laughs> the things you guys did to draft picks. Oh Absolutely. God. Yeah. I get scared thinking about it. All right. One and two team in the NFC West. Is it time to panic if you're a fan of the Arizona Cardinals? Panic, no panic. 
I don't panic. panic. Why? I don't no. Panic. I'm not gonna panic. Why? No. I was there because I know the guy. I know Cliff Kingsbury. I know it's not. I'm not gonna panic because he's eventually they, they get going. Like sometimes they start hard and finish slow, or they, yes. they you know, or they start slow and finish hot. You know, I think this is one of those years where they start slow, finish hot. I think uh, once they get D hot back, right. you know what I mean. They, they, so let me be, ask you on that, and I respect it. And you yeah. played for a year, yeah. part of a year. With uh, the Cardinals before you uh, stole a Super Bowl ring with the oh, Chiefs. Oh, no, I didn't steal nothing, baby. Um, I just went in there, you know, yeah. helped you did my part. I was a hired gun um, when they got that second ring. But the situation for Kyler Murray, yeah. you know, after the great second half against the Raiders, mm -hmm. the lousy game this past week, they're one and two. They're obviously only a game out of first mm -hmm. place. So I, I respect not panicking. They're right. a game out of first place. You can wake up Monday morning and be in first place, but. When Kyler Murray has a press conference like he did two days ago, oh, man. and he's basically coming out and throwing everybody on blast saying, hey, I'm special. Yeah. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. You got to gotta pay attention and get on my bus. Guys, I'm assuming maybe privately, maybe not face-to-face, -face, right. don't like that. That does right. not breed. Traditionally. Yo, but family. we all got to work here. We all got to win. Season's still long. Everything we want to achieve is still possible. So I don't think they panic. I don't think they panic. And, you know, they gave him the money. They gave him the money. So now he's going to have to back it up. He's Cody, to I know you're dying. Die. You think he's panicking? Oh, my God. He's never going to see D. Hopkins. Oh One of his God. other receivers is going to kill him before he gets off that restricted <laughs> list. Oh, I, I, man. I'll tell you what. He keeps talking like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, blaming everybody else for a 12-point performance. And guess what? At some point, they might find the body yeah. some, oh, somewhere. Man. All right, let me give you one more. Uh, they play in London. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, the New Orleans Saints are one and two. They've scored uh, 51 points in three games. That's not great. 17 mm -hmm. points a game. Winston has been up and down. Mm -hmm. They blew. Uh, they blow leads. They're not very good defensively. And uh, here we are. Is it time to panic? If you're a fan of the New Orleans Saints, panic. I panic. Mm -hmm. I panic. Why? Because you got to face Tampa again. You know what I mean? It's just you're not a really good team. You don't know where your identity is. You know, even the guys they brung in, you're not really hearing from them. Right. You know what I mean? So it's just, uh, yeah, I would panic. Panic. I would panic, yeah. <laughs> All right. I would so, panic. by the way, but and this is the beauty, I guess, of the NFL right now, that three weeks in, again, other than the Raiders, who are 0-3, and the Miami Dolphins, who are 3-0, and and the Eagles, who are 3-0. Every other team is either two and one or one and two. That has never happened in the history of the NFL. Mm. And what that means is you're not out of it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you can make the argument nobody should panic because even the Raiders, they're literally two games out of first place. I'm panicked. Yeah, yeah. but that's Don't the panic. baseball player in you. It's the Raider fan in me. I've lived and, this before. And the Raider fan in you. <laughs> Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.